Carter Stramat. I'm a fabricator at Climate by Design International. Started off, uh, I was 16 years old. Uh, I was in school. A buddy of mine, uh, Patrick, he said, he said, Carter, I, I have got this opportunity for us. Uh, we could work at this place that my parents work at because um, they're hiring high schoolers. So I said, okay, I guess I'll, I'll look into it. Talked to Brian Coleman, the awesome uh, community pathways director at the school. And he, uh, he hooked us up with a job here. And we came on as YST students, uh, some of the first. And yeah, now I, I spent two years in assembly. Uh, and then just recently, in the past couple months, I switched over to fab. So honestly, you don't even really need this because we'll teach you how, but if you can read a tape measure, that helps. So I've kind of been uh, around a little bit. I started off as a painter. So I was uh, spray painting units and uh, carts and all that good stuff. And then I, I did a little bit in rotors. And then now over inside this sheet metal fabrication, I run a brake press some days. And then most days you'll find me over here on the shear punch. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm turning a sheet of metal that's basically nothing, just a brick, into uh, a bunch of netted parts, so parts that are unbent. It's actually pretty awesome. It, it like does everything. Uh, the robots will take the parts off of the tower. It'll put them onto a bed. Uh, it pulls the sheet around, cuts all the holes, uh, cuts it all the size, and then it even sorts it all out on tables. Uh, I just tell it what to do, and then it does it all itself. It's pretty impressive. This is uh, this is huge compared to what we had before. I think a lot of people get like this, uh, like a misconception about factories, that it's like, I don't know, just super super repetitive. You stand in one spot, do the same thing, don't talk to anybody, put your head down, and get the thing done, right? But like, I don't know. I just I feel like for me at least. I really enjoy what I do. I don't do the exact same thing every day. You know, you bounce around on different machines, learn different things, and every day it's kind of something different. I absolutely love my coworkers. Absolutely love them. I, honestly, it's the highlight because I walk in every morning with a huge smile on my face because the people that I work with really just make my day. I love how everybody is just like, everybody's just so good to everybody else, you know? Like there's no, nobody's really mean. Everybody's friends, everybody knows each other. I mean, I know people in the office, I know people in other departments. It's just, I feel like there's really a sense of community. I like that a lot. I can't walk through a hallway without saying hi to 10, 20 people, you know? It's just great. Definitely just the fact that the community is so strong and that the people are so willing to help you out. Like, there's really no reason to ever be nervous about coming in here. It's, it's a great place to work. I love the company picnic. Uh, chili contest, stuff like that. There's all sorts of fun stuff that we do as a full company. It uh, really is a great time. Honestly, there's like one word that just comes straight to mind, and that's the people. They're just so, so great. I, I don't know what I'd do without my coworkers. Really, I'm just really fortunate that I have the opportunity to work here. I, I'm really glad I got in early, and I'm glad that I get to learn uh, in different departments, learn different things, and yeah, it's just great. It really is. Did you ever think you'd be in charge of running a $3 million machine? Not once. <laughs> Never in a million years did I think I'd get to run this thing, but I've been pretty fortunate, that's for sure.